So the answer to this problem is actually impossible to determine with the information we're given. And the reason is because we're given this point, 5 comma 3. And we're told that it's the midpoint of the segment AB, but we're never actually told what this point A is equal to. So as you can see, if I move this point A around, the point B could really be anything, really could be anything I want it to be. So for example, if A is the point 2 comma 2, then B, in order for M to really be the midpoint of the segment, then B has to be 8 comma 4. But if I move A to something else like 3 comma 5, and that forces B to be 7 comma 1. So because we're not actually told what A is equal to in the question, it's impossible to figure out what B is equal to. But what happens if we are given what B is equal to, or A is equal to, in this case, A being 1 comma 2? Then how are we going to figure out what this point, e were, uh, this point B is equal to? And the way we're going to do that is with the midpoint formula. So from the midpoint formula, we know that 5 is going to be equal to 1 plus x over 2. And if we solve, we multiply both sides by 2. 10 is equal to 1 plus x. Subtract the 1 over, we have 9 is equal to x. And we can do the same thing, another application of the midpoint formula. We know that 3 is going to be equal to 2 plus y over 2. Solve again for y. We get 6 is equal to 2 plus y. Subtract the 2 over. We get 4 is equal to y. So you know this point here is actually 9 comma 4 using the midpoint formula.